Hi guys, how are we doing? Woo. Didn't do an intro today, did I? No, I wanted I was a bit eager when you get up here with that bit of lead. I'll tell you what, it's handy when you go to a builder's merch, you know the geezer behind the jump, you get a bit of a deal on some lead. Yeah, you done me out right, old Bobby Daz is on that. I was happy. Yeah, so we did uh, a few saddles today. I've done all three on all of the dormers. Man, I'll tell you what, it's feeling like these dormers are pretty much at an end now. I'll tell you what, I'll switch around, let's have a little look, eh? Alright, saddle one, saddle number two, and over there is saddle number three. Now, I think we're looking pretty good here. Right, so there are a few little things that need to be addressed. Number one, the first thing which I can already hear you all saying, those of you who like to comment before you actually finish watching the video, don't worry, I will be putting oil on the lead, the panitation or plantation or whatever it's called. I've got some downstairs, so don't fret, that will get done. I just wanted to do all this, like set it all out on all of them first just to make sure that I'm happy with how it is and I am happy with how it is another thing I'm looking to do is these little ends these little bits at the end I'm going to trim them around in line with the tiles and sort of bend it around a bit so it doesn't flap around I'm tempted to put a little bit of mastic under the corners just to stick it down but I probably won't need to I can't see this getting flapped up but with this section I'll probably just tuck it under and make it look a little bit a little bit decent now these t uh, ridge tiles I've been going by this article on uh, Google I found now I don't know if you can see that or not but it is on rcimag.co.uk and I'll tell you what if I work out how to I'll link it in the description down below so you can look because I don't know if that's showing up but basically it's telling me how to do the junctions with these saddles it tells you a fair few different ways of doing it but like i said i don't know if this is just getting my reflection or actually getting it because i can't see nothing on the back of this so i'll link it below and hopefully you can go and have a look and see what i've done i've followed this and that's this is what we come up with now on this it didn't show these it showed them a little bit underneath the ridge tile but i thought i'd go all the way along just because if any water does get in there and you want it to run out i'd rather it follow that and not go over there and just run down there like i said these i'll tuck under but the ridge tiles now two different ways i've read about doing it as you can see i've just put a little cut in the back there one have the full ridge tile here and then basically just infill the back flush don't have it going into the roof and then the other one is where you have it going into the roof now because these are mechanically fixed and obviously yeah a few of you have said that i need to put some screws in those and i will do i wanted it to go off before i screwed it so they, they will get attended to don't worry about that so i'm thinking i'm going to do it like this and muck in the back of it drill a hole around here so it doesn't penetrate through the lead and screw this one down it'll have a it'll have a screw in this joint but i want to screw one down there as well now the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to put a screw through here, screw through here and pierce the lead. I'd rather leave the lead unpierced because that defeats the whole object of it if you ask me. So I'm probably going to fill the back in and then just have it like that little bit of lead on show. <clears throat> like so, like a little like a little valley and it just comes down the front. That's the way I'm probably going to do it. And under these tiles here yeah under these tiles here i'm going to bed these in because they're a fraction low so i'll put a bit of muck under there and just bed those in a little bit that's the way i'm going to be doing that so i'm thinking that obviously apart from those little pointy lips at the bottom they're looking they're looking pretty sound they come right up to about here the the lead up to about here so i've got the overhang of this first tile that it just tons over this uh in fact let me just show you as you can see there oh that's a bit dark apologize for that there we go as you can see there the overlap is a metric ton to get there i didn't turn over these undersides because frankly i didn't see the point i can't see any rain driving right up there plus if i muck it in it's really not going to go up there but if you guys think i need to roll them over then it ain't going to be too hard because i'm going to take all this off to oil it all anyway so i don't mind rolling it over in fact i might roll it over just for the sake of doing it just for peace of mind so yeah, I'll roll those over tomorrow when I do the... Oh, you've gone dark again. I'll roll these over again tomorrow when, when I do the oiling. So, but I'll just leave these on here for the time being. But I'll tell you what, I'm happy with that. For someone who ain't got a Danny what he's doing, I think, I think I've think i done all right there. Like I say, these are just a little bit, 
bit of an eyesore, but tuck it under. And from down there, you, it'll look fucking sweet as, mate. I'm telling you, I'm happy with that. I'm dead happy with that. So, there we go. Very nice. Oh yeah, and if I do muck that in the back, I ain't gonna stick that black dye in it because I'm just gonna smudge the hell out of it. I'm just gonna no do normal muck, because what's the point in black in it? You ain't ever gonna see it unless you stood right behind it. And I think the only person who's gonna be up on the roof looking down there is gonna be Father Christmas, and he ain't gonna be around for a while, so I think scrap that, I'll just use normal muck and plug it. I might bench it up a little bit, just so, I don't know, for peace of mind again, I guess. But well, I'll see, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. But yeah, looking very nice today. I think I'm very happy with that. Right, so I think I'm, I'm happy with the way that looks today. Yeah, very happy. A little bit of lead there. Made sure I wore my gloves on with PPE when I did a few cuts. So if you ever work with lead, put your gloves on. I know I didn't do it the first time, which was naughty me. And um, I regret doing that. Just, yeah, glove on. Ain't too hard to put a glove on, is it? Right, tomorrow. Now, tomorrow. Tomorrow could go one of two ways before we've even started. I could either struggle walking up and down these uh, these lats and all that up here, or I'll be fine. Now, the reason that is, I'm going tonight. Right, okay, so how do I explain this? I'll start from the beginning. So, as obviously, I edit these videos every day, and every day I end up looking at myself. And I'm looking going, Rod, you're uh, putting on a few pounds there, mate. So, compared to me, what, three or four years ago, I was fucking ripped, mate. So. I'm going tonight to something I haven't gone to in two years, and that's not just the gym. I used to do Muay Thai, Thai boxing. I did it for, I think I started in about 2010, and did it, no, maybe not 2010, 2011 or 12, something like that. And then uh, two years ago, just literally just before I started this house. So yeah, about, about two years ago, I stopped going because I started doing this house and I, I just got absolutely shattered. And then I just got into the run of not going. So tonight is the first time in two years that I'm gonna go and pretty much I'm gonna get beaten up I reckon and just just get the exercise in basically that's what I want to do uh, start today and then hopefully move up to going twice a week just to, just to get my fitness back up uh, I know running up and down this ladder is keeping me fit but I think because I've been a bit in the dumps recently not I now mate I'm on top of the world at the moment so I think that I need to get my fitness up again like up to peak I mean, I used to be able to run four and a half miles in 32 minutes. I wouldn't be able to walk a mile in 32 minutes at the moment. So, yeah, so I'm going tonight to uh, to start doing that. So if I come in tomorrow with a black eye and a and a busted nose, oh yeah, I had, I had the, the one fight that I had, uh, inter-club fight, I reckon the geezer, I'm pretty sure he broke my nose. Well, my nose was already broken before that, but I reckon he broke it again. Um, I think I've got some photos and some video of my old, my old antics of being uh, Thai boxing. I went to Thailand and did a training camp there as well. That was interesting. That was, that was really good. That was hard work, but it was really good. So if I find anything on my hard drive, I'll stick it up on screen now so you can have a little look-see. But that's what I'm going to be going to do tonight. So if I'm not running around like a nutter tomorrow, then, well, I'm pretty much going to tell you how I feel tomorrow anyway, but it might be a bit of a difficult day tomorrow. So I have a feeling that I'll probably be just doing just oiling up this lead, doing a little bit of trimming up and do what I need to, and then uh, hopefully get that sorted in the morning. And hopefully in the afternoon, we'll just start slamming this top section of tiles through, because I want to get this front done, get it out, get this, put this behind me, and then move on to the two, two Dutch gables. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And uh, if I'm a bit achy tomorrow, then we all know why, don't we? Right. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Leave a like down below if you have. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So take care. Have a good evening. I know I will. And I'll see you then. Ta-ra.